little bit interesting because I also from a student break background, a student leader background. And therefore, when such programs are organized, I feel it uh, interesting and privileged to be a part of such gathering. Because if you call a chief guest, especially a student session, we look for someone who has a lot of money. But uh, when people come and approach me, I used to think and feel that oh, these people want to listen to some of my talk. And with that perspective in mind, I accepted the invitation. Thank you for inviting me and also giving us a lot of present uh, gift. I don't know with what resources the student organization give us all this kind of present. Anyway, thank you. I'm also very thrilled to meet my old friend, Zabbalo. He is uh, one officer from Northern Sumi area. I don't remember any other officers uh, from our area. I think, uh, I guess, only a few of them. And uh, I was chatting with him and he is already promoted to district project officer. Well, exciting uh, moment for me. We were, he was in the SKK, I was in the NSF, so we were together in the student uh, activist activities. So after a long game, we are meeting, so that's why he was telling me that I will have a selfie, so I'm very happy. <laughs>
the Norman Sudir. They will be using the best company, the best uh, lattice model. What I'm trying to reflect today is our young student today who have passed out your high school and high secondary certificates. This is telephone. The intention of inventing, I want you to go back to that history. How much Alexander Graham Bell might have taught caring for the deaf to let them hear. Now converted to a mass facility. This facility, if you don't know how to use it, that facility will swallow you. So that danger looms large, especially with the growing minds, the young people, those who have passed out your glass then, as well as the glass twelve. For those of us who have crossed the age of 30, 40, 50, we are expected to be a major, uh, our behavior is expected to be major. So somehow we regulate using it, the mobile phones. But for the young minds, this is one big worry every parent has to do. If you ask any parents how worrisome they are, they will tell you the mobile, how my son and daughter will be using it. So unless you regulate yourself how to use the best facility your parents will be giving you, because some of you might have been prevented by your parents not to use before you passed class 10 or 12. Now they will give you because you have passed out out of happiness. One, two, because you require it, that becomes a necessity. Necessary. So you require it, you have to get it. But you must know how to use that the facility which is being placed in your head by your parents. And unless you do that, you will divert your attention to your facility then to your books. I have been saying this in all, almost on all occasions where I am in my life. For Nagas, in the first place, why alcohol become a problem for us? Because we don't know how to drink. That is the problem. So alcohol, instead of using the alcohol, alcohol uses us. So we became a victim of alcohol, many of us. Today, the mobile is going to be a big threat for our young generation. And this, not only me, but the student leaders as well as the parents. We have, we have to recollect, recollect the usage of these facilities for our children. Many of us, many of you, if there is five hours to study, you will have three hours for your mobile, two hours for your books. This is where you will go wrong. And you won't be able to compete the world which is fast advancing. And therefore, Taking advantage of this gathering, I would like to urge upon the young minds today, the successful students who have met us proud today of your success, who have met your area, Northern Sudi, especially my constituency for the Pandari, and your parents and your villagers. Don't fail us. The success that you have shown us today should sustain. You have only started the game. You have only started the race. You have to finish the race. This world has become highly competitive. The days of easy way of life is no more. It is now the survival of the fittest. If you are not fit, you cannot survive. How do you make, how do you make yourself fit? That is the big question. Unless you concentrate in your studies, first thing first, you 
you have to accept in your studies. Then the rest of the facilities which you, re which you require will just come. Your parents will be readily, you know, they'll struggle even to provide you which you don't ask. These are the things which I would like to advise the students community today, especially friends passing out from the northern Sumi area. It's a, it's a very proud moment for us. I'm happy that the, the entire team of the SKK is present today. Uh, we need your support in uplifting the economic condition, education in the Northern Sumeria. It also shows that you are scared of us, the Northern Sumeria. The whole team has come. So, I'm very happy. You, we really require your support uh, in all sense of the term. In any case, our people in the Northern Sumeria area uh, is as backward as any other uh, backward areas. The whole 40 country constituency uh, is a backward area, but uh, mostly with our Northern Sumeria. I am uh, extremely worried how do we improve the system of education, their way of life, the economic condition. The effort from all of us is required to push our people. Uh, further, uh, for so many years, our people uh, could not rise up. I am informed that uh, the number of uh, students passing out of the high school as well as high secondary has increased tremendously. Mm -hmm. It is an encouraging sign. We need to encourage them. And uh, if possible, whatever is required from my hand, I will definitely make an endeavor to reach them out, to help them out. But uh, collective concerted effort is required for all of us to uplift the economic condition of our people in the Northern Sumeria. During my campaign in the last concluded election, I went to uh, where is that station Koloto? Kakkato uh, 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 yes. Kakkato village. And uh, we had a meeting. I was, instead of appealing them, I was shouting and scolding them. So I was scared with that, they'll give me a vote. Or a candidate, they go and appeal, request the voters for me out of emotion and anger, I started shouting at them. But our people cannot live like this. We have to improve. And by all we improve ourselves. It starts from the election. The leaders have to come up. If you only look for uh, money, then how do we let, how, who, what kind of candidate will take interest in uh, helping our people? So I was shouting and, uh, to the gathering. But I was also giving them an example that there are also Sumis in Kipiri district. And there is already an EAC from that area, Northern, uh, this uh, Eastern Sumi area. You must mark that, young, young friends. There is already EAC, I think uh, it took five, six years back for there, on EAC from the Kipiri Sumi areas. Why not? If they get from the Northern Sumi, and I'm challenging you today that your batchmen, the elders must be struggling, but you must show them. Way. We can also do it. Our Northern Sumi areas also can do it. We have the capacity, and therefore you must uh, work hard and ma make us proud the area as well as our people. This past. A couple of weeks. This is also one area of concern that I have as a member of the Legislative Assembly. This couple of weeks, we all have been experiencing uh, this heat, unable to even come out of our comfort zone, especially in Mo. I came down to Mohima. But Mohima also no different. Just that we don't use AC. 
at this rate, our people, if we don't care for our environment, how do we live? Therefore, I also would like to encourage the young people here, the student leaders here, that we must also preserve our forest, the climate, And this, on this aspect, leaders alone will not do. It is the, the effort of every individual's required. There is a project called uh, JJ, Jal Jivan Mission. So, some of the implementations were made in our area, that uh, constituency. And one of their primary focus was to give water to the villages. So in some of the villages, instead of going for natural harvesting of the natural rivers, they encourage, the project is such that they encourage uh, pouring, pouring of water, using a lot of by machines. So I was discouraged in the department that we cannot do that. For the villages, we have to go on traditional way of harvesting the water. Either digging out the well or some other ways. Not through pouring, using heavy pipes, machines. You know, this climate change, a day is coming that where we will fight for water. The water scarcity. Who, who ever taught the Magur will not? Will have a water problem. People are facing now. Now, if you encourage that in, in the villages, the pouring, uh, the pouring system, it is going to dry up the entire water of our area. And the only source available for water at the moment is the whole north, south, central India. It is already dried up. The uh, water level has gone. They are focusing the major containers in the northeast now. So it is becoming it is going to be a precious. It is it is a precious now. It is going to be more precious. Today. So therefore, unless we preserve, unless we create awareness, I was discouraging that uh, pouring system. We are going to face a lot of problems in our day-to-day -day, day -day life. And therefore, taking advantage of this gathering, I would also would like to propound that idea that uh, we all must preserve our life, our forests, our climate, as well as the water. This is where our society will progress. And especially the northern Sumi area in my constituency, there are lots of developmental works to be done. Uh, we all will try our best how, how much we can do. It's a short duration as far as elected members are concerned, but it has to be a continuous effort. Uh, from my side, I would like to assure that whatever is possible, I will try my best to uh, take care of our people and uplift their uh, living standard and also especially the communication and education sector. With this, I would like to thank the organizer for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you. Out of your busy schedule, you have come in our midst, for which we are blessed and honored. Montsukana, sir. Most respected, my senior leader, Sri Kalu Gejishi, ex president NSSU, currently the DPO LRD Department of Government of Nagaland. Sir, I on behalf of the unit, thank you for always giving your valuable contribution through various means, through various means, ways and means. We are proud to have you as one of the top leaders, sir. And now, Ngado Elaya, President, SKK and his team colleagues, dignitaries, well-wishers, invitees, all the unit leaders of SKK, program officials, media fraternity, student friends, ladies and gentlemen. I extend warm greetings from the Office of the Northern Sumi Students Union. I thank 
done for this amazing opportunity, particularly to our area, to come together in this manner, to join our hands together to ensure ourselves that we are one. It was in the year 2021, the NSSU felt that we have to honor the HSLC, HSSLC examination. From their own words, we have been honoring and acknowledging the successful students till date. Also, the NSSU in particular for the past years has produced many prominent and top leaders in various fields such as SKK and SKK, uh, NSF, SKK President, even Sir Kavalo, who is in our midst, is the ex-General Secretary of SKK. For the convenience of the congregation, I'd like to speak and assume you. I'm very much into the Bahani, Adam Rajiki, Asada Kivi, and now I'm going to continue to be there. To us, a great time, you know, I look at the people who are in the as a lucky in the world, as a lucky in the world, with success there comes great role and responsibility. Aparzana, Arakuna, Aparzana, Aparzana, Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.